I am an acting work and I am quite good with numbers. I often do tables in my head. Oh. So as you can see there, that's quite another thing that I do. Uh, and the third one, I would say, um, I'm quite a bit into history and culture. So. What gives me an amazing opportunity to live in Holland for five years. So um, wow. I was pretty generous in my friends to let them visit and stay with me, you know, for even weeks and stuff. I am quite enthusiastic about things in life. I want to live life to full and um, I'm quite considerate and empathetic towards people. But all in all, it's all about having fun in life and making the most of anything and everything. I have to say, I'm just following that bit. That's just the news and uh, yeah, just because I'm a little bit into like history and political perspective, so I'm just following yeah. these politicians. <laughs> well, when I was at uni, um, the course was Professor Brian Cox, if you have heard about him, the guy who nice. stars oh. on BBC. So he's um, like a celebrity scientist. So okay. uh, he's talking about um, all the stuff that's happening about space exploration and stars. So. Um, I'm quite a good cook, but I just love Italian food and I often cook uh, food for my friends and family. So it would be like an Italian feast, a risotto, antipasti, you know, things like that. <laughs> well, if, if, I, if I've done my preparation, if I've thought about what shoes I'm going to put on at <laughs> court, um, an hour at least. <laughs> um, I used to be a cheap person until I worked, I did an internship at a food company that is also producing coffee, so that's where I got converted. And also living in Holland for five years, they've got quite a good coffee culture, so that got me converted to coffee as well. <laughs> uh, I'm an idol. <laughs> well, it's all this continued from my university days, you know, long nights and stuff. But I tend to do my house chores on Friday. Then Saturdays or Sunday, I would love to go for a hike, and I often head out to the Lake District or the countryside for a hike. Oh, wow. And um, I find that that very therapeutic and relaxing, and meeting friends and family. So that's like a complete package. <laughs> um, I would I just love beaches, like white sandy beaches. I'm not very much. Um, uh, occupied by people. Past my career, I was very career focused and um, for me it was a dream come true when I was able to study chemical engineering at my favorite university which is Manchester and then I was very fortunate that I was able to get a dream job and um, I was able to get my chartership pretty soon. So it just, I worked hard towards it but I was very glad that you get one life, you get one opportunity. But yeah. I was able to accomplish all my dreams. So I feel like I've accomplished everything on the career front. So now it's time to sit them down and focus on other important things in life. So I would say elegant and modest. Well, the last person that texted was my brother. <laughs> Yeah, he's quite a, um, an IT geek, so whenever I have trouble with my iPad or computer, he's the first uh, person that I brought her and asked for advice. <laughs> for me, it's about, you know, um, 
find a partner who you feel like excited about, just to have fun together, and settling down, starting a family, you know. It's just about completing all the life aspirations and dreams and just enjoying life the full in the next chapter. Like I've got quite a good upbringing and my grandma has instilled strong family arranged values in me and um, my experiences of life to date have made me more empathetic, resilient and adaptable to change and I'm curious by nature and I tend to practice effective communication and for me the most important bit is the listening skills which are essential to this relationship. Yeah. And um, I'm, ever, I'm ever the optimist. I always endorse a positive perspective on life and I appreciate my strength to build a better connection. I, I come from a very small, close knit family of um, a mum and two younger siblings who also happen to be chemical engineers, so I guess we are a bit on the nutty side. And I'm of Pakistani heritage and I speak Urdu and Patwari. Someone who is humble and considerate towards others, and someone who believes in creating shared dreams by talking about what's possible together and um, they're defining the best path ahead. And a good sense of humor would be epic.